Hey, I want to do a comic book review. Today we're doing Ghost by the Gwen, Ghost by issue 10. Also, I have the legacy number of issue 50, so technically this could be issue 10. But this one, or issue 50 for the entire series, what do you want to call it? It's gonna suck. I'm like, oh, this book would have been cool if by the Gwen actually got a 50 issue run. Like, by the Gwen got a 50 issue one. That'd be pretty cool. Technically, you kind of have to do that with, like, you know, technically does. And I'm like, the book has a 50 issue, technically, because it's doing the legacy number. So technically, the book has a lot so far 50 issues. That's surprising enough that the character has lasted for 50 issues. Not a lot of comics, especially on Marvel, get the last 50 issues or anything of this long. Uh, for a good thing a like this, so I'm actually super glad that this book happened. Also, I'm gonna get into this. Let's get into this. The color's really cool. It looks like he's equipping Spider Gwen. Is he? Is he not? Let's open up and see what happens in issue 10. Uh, this is Can't Stop the Beat. It's his hearse. He's fighting just some muggers or some people on her hearse and stuff. And he goes to. He stops some like muggers or some bad guys, you know, just some big like Zogs, muggers, whatever you call them. Call them. He dwells into a wall, calls the police, then he goes, he has a thing that can let her teleport to a sick one sick with like Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, like the main Marvel Universe. He goes next because he wants to talk to Peter Parker about or find Eddie Brock because he wants to learn about like, hey, my powers are having a problem, I need to figure out what to deal with my powers. The powers are unlocking and stuff, so he goes to, uh, to the library and he tries to figure out some information where Peter is and stuff, and he finds him, he's on the roof. See, he has a thing that can tell when people use portals and from other dimensions are teleporting here. I don't play with all the fighter vest stuff, I can understand that. So he's talking to her and all this stuff about, hey, I need to do the thing. They go to the lab and do this. They don't show them actually going to the lab. I'm like, okay, I don't know why you didn't, because that seems like something you might want to do. But they went to the lab and got all the stuff done and, you know, test the first thing. And they were like, okay, then we can maybe go get Eddie Brock out if you need to. And he's like, oh, because I think she thinks Eddie Brock is a scientist, because I'm the one that he was. At least on hers, but in this was, I don't, to my not on this, I don't think he's that big of a scientist. I don't think he would be helping much. But they go kind of get some food because they're hungry. And throughout, like a little bit, at a point, you see bees fly by and by the way, gets a spider sense tingling. And it's like, oh, yeah, maybe, I mean, I've watched quite a sting, you know, I guess that could give you spider sense tingling, I'm not sure. But then it happens again, and then we find out, oh, you don't want to be with Creamy, and oh, we have this guy, do you want to remember what his name is? Fitz Von Mayer. This Von Mayer? He's a uh, he's a supervillain who is a a swarm of Nazi Nazi dinosaur bees because he he's a he's a Nazi he's a Nazi and he's made up of bees and he's taking over he put the bees over a um, T Rex like a uh, skeleton so he's making a move to say Nazi zombie bees I love Nazi zombie bees that's the preferably the great example of Wilo comics what else is he a Nazi Nazi dinosaur bees, I don't think you're gonna get that in anything other than a comic book, so yeah, the comic books are great. I love it, a weird, ups, I like the comic book go absurd and like, okay, that's just absurd in the best way possible. I love absurd stuff like that, I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing, and it's, I, I, I can't help but love it. But the bee, this guy is an actual character in the comic book, so it's like, okay, and they do the dinosaur thing to make it more absurd, I'm like, okay. There's them trying to punch bees, and not the dinosaur bees. So I'm like, okay, I'm just fine. They basically, like, they tag him up, they, like, wrap him up, so he is taken care of. And then, by the way, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, what are you, hey, thank you for saving you, da da da. Uh, and then it's like, who are you? And then she says, Ghost Spider. I'm like, oh, is he finally calling himself Ghost Spider? Now that this entire book was called Spider Gwen Ghost Spider. And now we're finally giving her to be called Ghost Spider. He was like, I make sense, because once he's in this universe, he can't call himself Spider-Woman, he says that. Like, I can't call myself Spider-Woman in this universe, because, well, Spider-Woman's already here, and he would probably kill me. So, yeah, no. And he talked about how this might, because he found out Spider-Man goes to work at university, I mean, so he talked about how he might try to go to school and stuff, and he needs to wait to get her past picked up. So then she go back to her, and then she's going back to hers on the last page, but swinging around hers. But it seems like... Um, she's going to come back, cause that's where the book ends. But it seems like in the next issue, well, surprisingly enough, the last issue. Kind of, cause next month, this came out this month, this came out in July, uh, next month in August, comes out, Spider Gwen comes back, and just Ghost Spider, and it'll be issue one. And it seems like she's gonna be in the Marvel main universe now, and she's gonna be, cause there's Miles Beyond Man that talks about her going to school in the main Marvel universe. So he's going to school here. Not, it's not gonna be like, oh, so he's not, because there's so his father, and the MJ's on the cover. And the assuming is, so he's probably gonna be, maybe, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in both now. It's gonna be the main universe, like, the school and everything, and then you'll see her 
probably go over to meet her dad or the band and other stuff and maybe stuff like that. So, I think the teleport to each war so she's gonna stay there and like I'm gonna stay here, go to school and all this stuff and then I'll come back to like see my dad and friends and stuff. So I was like, he's gonna be in the main Marvel Universe and I'm like, great, could we need another Spidey Man in the main universe? We have so many. We have Silk, Spider Man, uh, probably Ben Riley I think. Uh we have my Morales, we have five. What is five? Do we need six? Do we? And the probably more this Kane, maybe. If he, I don't know who. I'm not that big on Spider-Man. I know like all the Spider-Man, so what Spider-Man's aware. I know like the main ones, like a lot, most of the ones I just said. I don't know anything about Kane and Ben Riley, what they're doing. But I know we have Silk. I know we have Spider Woman, Spider Man, and Miles Morales. That's at least four already. That's probably four too many. But yeah, uh, what do I think of this book as being kind of technically because it is kind of the last issue? So what do I think of this book as an ending? I think it's fine for an ending. It's one of those endings where it's good, but also feels like it's setting up for the next series. But it's just coming out next month, so it doesn't feel like this book is ending, because it's like, it's coming back like next month immediately. Like, it's, this book is selling, I think, enough to where it's like, hey. Like, what I'm saying is, the book feels like it's just selling enough that they can, this book, they're just, we're gonna keep continuing, even if we feel like this runs end, or this artist, like, or writer wants to finish his run, like, this run dead, we're gonna get another writer and get picked somebody else on. I don't know if the next book is going to have a new writer or anything, but this book looks really cool. So I'm excited. Uh, what do I give Spider Gwen Ghost Spider? I've been really enjoying this. I think this is an okay final way to keep it on. I mean, it's not technically the final issue, so. I mean, it is for this particular, you could say, run, but the next issue. Uh, I don't know if the next issue is going to continue the legacy number, because if it does, then technically this book is not even. This is not even the last issue. It is for this, maybe you could say, 10 issue run, because it does have the 10 there. But for, like, the legacy number, if that. I hope it continues, because this book. I would love this book to get to, like. At least to have the legacy number get to 100. That'd be cool if this book lasts 100 books. But technically, the book would have 100 issues by that point. Well, we have to 50, what's more than I thought this book would get. And I don't know what that's counting, so yeah. I forget what the legacy number's counting, but yeah, this is 50. Oh, we have to 50, so fucking sweet, sweet on this. And there's probably some more. I don't think it's counting like the first five issues of the mini series and a couple other things that's not counting, so yeah. So 50 issues, it's good. A Spider Gwen, this issue, as what do I rate this? I like this. I don't think it's like, is it the best issue ever? I would say, I don't know, it's interesting. And her being in a Marvel Universe is interesting because he's not going to be, we're not going to have all the characters from hers, but I think it's very fun. I'm giving this book a, I gotta give it like an 8 or 9. I gotta give it, it's a total 8, not bad, not bad. I enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun with it. I was the Nazi, Nazi Dinosaur P is always going to be something I'm going to be now. I have to, I feel like I gotta bring that up. Nazi Dinosaur Bees. I gotta bring that up in every conversation now. I gotta bring that up in conversation now because that's just fucking awesome. And that, that made this book an A. That alone, well, if it wasn't for that, this book would have been like us, probably. But it would have been an A because this book is just solid, and I don't think the book is ever going to wrap down past an A. And yeah, so I enjoyed Spider Gwen Ghost Spider. Let me know what did you think of Spider Gwen Ghost Spider issue 10, or Legacy issue 50, whatever you want to call it. And also, this is the last issue. What do you think of this last issue for this particular run? And what do you think of next month's issue 1 and stuff? Or what do you think about Spider Gwen in general, this series, any other series? Just what do you think about this particular book and maybe the Spider Gwen stuff? Let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it. Until next time, guys, bye.